Makai Becton, the mammoth, Louisville offensive tackle, getting top five, top 10 hype in this upcoming draft. We're a little lower on him. I'm going to get into exactly what we see on tape that brings us to that conclusion. Let's get to the pros. The biggest pro is obvious. It is his sheer size. Six foot seven, 370 pounds, ridiculous length, ridiculous power. And the thing is, he doesn't move like a guy who's six foot seven, 370 pounds. He ran a 5'1 at the combine, nimble on his feet for a guy that size. Like he doesn't have the agility concerns you usually worry about for those jumbo tackles when it comes to pass protecting in the NFL. He led the entire country this year in terms of big time blocks on the front side of plays on that is he just threw guys on outside zone runs that they ran a ton of this past year at Louisville just took them all the way to the sidelines at times. His power is spectacular to watch, but let's get to the cons because there are some things on his tape that are worrisome. He struggles to latch on when he does latch on. Yes, it's game over. He is ending that block right there and then, but he struggles to latch on and he just has not been tested in pass protection. Freshman year and sophomore year at Louisville, they flipped him sides. He would play left tackle one play, right tackle the next, kind of screwed with his development. And then this past year at Louisville, he barely pass protected at all. They ran more than they passed. And when they did pass, it was a lot of play action, a lot of moving the pocket. So he only had 73 true pass sets this past season. And he really didn't face much in the way of NFL competition. The one game that he faced a guy or guys who will likely be playing the NFL against Notre Dame, Khalid Kareem, Julian Akwara, he earned a 53.1 pass blocking grade in that game, his lowest of the season. So that's the concerning thing is we just haven't seen it in pass protection. That's why we're lower on him than everyone else. Well, let's get to the player comp here. It's Bryant McKinney, the former Vikings offensive tackle. McKinney just a the nickname was the Mountain, Mount McKinney. He absolutely blocked out the sun there and could move for a big six foot eight, you know, 340 plus pound offensive tackle. The thing was, Brett McKinney didn't allow a sack his entire Miami career. That was the big thing with him coming out of Miami. Never allowed a sack. We saw Mekhi Becton allow one this past year, five in total. So that is again what the bottom line here is for Becton. He has tools you cannot teach. He has physical tools off the charts. That's why he's getting this top 10 hype. But we haven't seen that necessarily translate to elite tackle play yet. We'd like to see it before we project a guy highly. That's why he falls a little later on in our draft board. Not quite buying into the top 10 hype for him. You want to get rid of me and get back to more great PFF YouTube content? All you have to do is push that button right there and subscribe. Thanks for watching.